All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Triple Z Radio Astronomy Telescope mod, which is being resurrected by, of course, none other than Linux Guru Gamer, but the original authors of this mod were users ZZZ, Moonseeker, and Angel125. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a really cool and rather quite large radio telescope for you to collect science with and who doesn't love that it's science it's great so let's head right on into the VAB and take a look at what this mod does have to offer us and so let's grab a mark 1-2 command pod for our usual size comparison sake and since it is just a single part we'll just go straight down to the science tab and grab it where uh, yes we have the triple Z radio astronomy telescope and it is <laughs> a hefty hefty piece of science Scientific equipment. As you can see at its uh, attachment point, it is uh, the 2.5 size, but then does get quite a bit wider from there, and uh, really will be the end piece of whatever rocket you do send it up on. As you can tell, there is no other attachment point up top, so you're not going to be putting this thing in line. And of course, that's for a very specific reason. This is currently folded up. The radio telescope expands, and it's beautiful. But first, of course, before I show you, we'll have to zoom out because, well, it's, um, it's big. So there we go, deploy, and oh uh, yeah, look at that. That is a gorgeous and gigantic radio telescope for you to, you know, explore space with. It's just wonderful. And actually quite nice on the texturing and the modeling, uh, both of which are very, very good, very high quality. I love the look of the whole thing, and it just fits together quite nicely. And once we do get out of the uh, VAB and into the world, I will show you the proper animation as it is impressive now as for the stats on this thing it is hefty not just in its size but also its mass at five tons but it does have a powerful reaction wheel built into it which is useful though will use quite a bit of electric charge at six per minute of course having SAS stabilization and well it is a science experiment so we can log astronomy data and it is a uh, pretty cool overall all a very awesome part for building some cool radio telescopes you could either deploy in space or even maybe on a really really large rover it does of course have different experiments per biome altitude orbit etc so you got a lot of fun choices as to uh, where you're going to collect your radio astronomy data from well that's pretty much all to look at for the part itself it's big it's got a reaction wheel and is fairly costly as well at 5,000 credits so let us go and take a look at it in space where I've put a uh, <laughs> I want to say small satellite, but thanks to the radio telescope, it ain't that small. Oh god, why do I have two? Did I... Oh, I think I was testing things, and which one is which? I don't remember. Whichever one has been up not as long. This one... <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. I had some interesting things with physics because these are very, very large and can cause a few oddities with the Kraken. Uh, for instance, while unfolding, it caused quite a bit of uh, vibration so that I used to have solar cells on here, but there was so much vibration it actually exploded them from all the shaking, which was something I didn't anticipate, but is certainly a thing you'll probably want to watch for in the future if you do so use this mod yourself but look at this thing it is freaking ginormous and if we turn it around to see the other side and all the glorious sunlight again you can get kind of an idea of the scale this is the largest of our relay antennas and uh yeah it's dwarfed in comparison to the radio astronomy telescope this thing is pretty cool let's actually set it to radial out there again remember it does have its own sas and reaction wheel so it's it's quite maneuverable you can really get it to you know move around very easily in space but uh let's actually show off before we do the experiment uh, the animation so we'll retract it real quick and there you go you can see it kind of just folding into itself as so which i love you guys know me i'm a sucker for a good animation and this 
This is a good animation. I just love the packing and unpacking. Did I not hit the button? When I, no, I did not hit the button. I meant to turn off the UI to make it look nicer. <laughs> But in the end, forgot to actually hit the deploy. And there we go, a very good animation there, very nice high quality, and just overall a very cool part. It's just a giant radio telescope for you to deploy wherever you want. And I've got some fun ideas for this thing. Placing radio telescopes on other planets or in uh, deep space satellites, etc. I think would be fun to, you know, put these around the place. It would be very interesting. Now, as for the data, we are currently over Kerbin Waters, and after creating massive power outages and storms, the science team realizes that somebody was using the sensor to try to talk to whales. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen the water one yet. That's good. Uh, earlier, I was above the mountains, and it, it basically said that there was no intelligent life on this planet, which... Well, I mean, it's debatable with the Kerbals. That is potentially a thing. So yes, depending on where you are on the planet or in orbit around it, you will get different science outcomes per the biome, which is fun. So you can run these tests multiple times to get all the science you could possibly deserve. And so it's uh, very fun. Are we over the deserts yet there? Possibly. Yes, we're over the deserts. There we go. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, there's, yes, the life one. It appears to be the same as the mountain one that I had earlier. The TV signals transmitted from the planet. And we have determined that there's no intelligent life here. Yeah, yeah. Jebediah probably runs the TV station. But yeah, it's very cool. Has a lot of fun little bits for whichever experiments you run. I haven't actually looked at what it has for other planets so far, but uh, I'm hoping some quite good ones. I've seen a couple of the different biomes and it is interesting to have the different uh, science outcomes for the experiment as a lot of science mods well I wouldn't say a lot but some of them do tend to forget that uh, yeah biomes exist even in orbit so very cool little mod if you'd like to check it out for yourself you can take a look at the link in the description as always and I would definitely say to give it a try as well, it's just a cool little piece of scientific equipment that I think you'll have a lot of fun with. But yes, that is basically it for today's episode, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!